All is now set for the Lagos inaugural sustainability summit addressing news when in Nikeja, the special advisor to the governor, Samuel on sustainable development goals and investments, Dr. Oreolua Fine Awokoya. Stated now the summit embodies the collective commitment to building a resilient and sustainable Lagos. She described the uh, summit as a uh, beacon of sustainable development for the nation and the world. The Lagos Sustainability Summit stands as a testament to our collective resolve. It's a landmark event born from our collab collaborative efforts of key agencies, the Lagos State Office of Sustainable Goals, the Lagos State Safety Commission, and the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency. Together, we have come to the realization that the future we aspire to is not just a dream, but it is our responsibility. Also speaking, the Director General of the Lagos State Safety Commission Agency, Larry Mojola, and the Special Advisor to Summit on Budget and Planning, Lekon Balogun, noted that the summit also aims to drive positive change and contributes to a more sustainable and friendly future. While lighting uh, all the areas uh, the summit hopes to address, the General Manager, Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, La Sepa Babatunde Ajayi, revealed how the ministry is ensuring that the environment is not adversely affected by dredging activities. But it's also important that when we think about sustainability, we need to think about creating a safe and healthy workplace. And what is, what is a workplace? A workplace is everywhere. Um, if you're working in a hotel, the workplace is your hotel. If you're a bus driver, your workplace is your bus. If you're working in a school, your workplace is a school. And basically for us, what sustainability means is that every worker, irrespective of whether it's blue or, or white, can perform their duties without fear of injury um, or illnesses. Every dressing you find in the have an approval that has gone through several processes of inspection, of assessment, to say that even while you are building close to the ocean, you have a channel or you have a path for major things cross or water to cross. There are cities across the world that are built on water. And there are cities across the world that are built on desert. Well, so long as you make space for nature's time. What we plan to do uh, in the coming year is to see the resolutions that come out of the of the um, of the summits, um, how it will be entrenched in each of those ministries, departments, and agencies from a budgetary. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.